The O'Brien family have had a long and successful association with Royal Ascot. Aidan has saddled 65 Royal Ascot winners and in recent times his sons Joseph and Donica have been stepping up to the plate. This year Joseph looks to saddle his first winner as a trainer and Donica looks to ride his first Royal Ascot winner. Joseph, what's your earliest memory of Royal Ascot? Um, Royal Ascot was always somewhere that was really, really difficult to compete in and, and there was no point going there um, until, unless you had the real deal. I can uh, distinctly remember the old parade ring. And I, I remember seeing it one day I, when I was very small um, my mum pointed out the Queen Mother to me, she, she was there, so um, uh, yeah, I, I just always remember the magnitude of the occasion. Very early I remember trying to get a, a small top hat as possible to fit me and things like that, so I presume I was fairly small when I first went. I remember the last maybe one or two of Yates' Gold Cups um, you know, and, and things like that. Um, not in too much detail, but yeah, I suppose around then is when I started to cop on. And what about then, the first time that you went? as a jockey, was that very different? Uh, it was, I actually, I rode there in my first year of riding, I, I, I was only riding a couple of months. Um, I rode a horse in a handicap and I gave him the most horrific ride. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I was after winning on him a couple of weeks previously and um, missed the break, um, passed out half the field <laughs> out of Swinley Bottom. And, and ultimately finished nowhere. Um, uh, so it was a steep learning curve. So when you came back in that day and like watching the replay, is it like watching it through your fingers almost because you don't want to see it? Um, I don't think I've ever watched the replay. <laughs> what about your record at Royal Ascot? Yeah, it's really horrendous. <laughs> I, mean, I was, um, I don't know, I think about five or six seconds. I was beating a short head in the Queen Mary last year. 50 yards to go, and the white jacket, Senora Caballo, Gossamer wings in the blue and orange, they hit the line together. It's not great, but um, hopefully we'll get a winner on the board this year. Well, we've already seen Joseph, and he, you know, he said that his wasn't great either to start with. Yeah, well, I'd say he probably has more time, he had more time than I'll have left, but um, we'll take one winner. How many goals did it take before you broke your duck? I, I don't know, I'd imagine a good few. Um, um, I'm not sure what my first winner there was. I think it was So You Think, was it? So You Think, first? it could have been, yeah, the Prince of Wales, yeah. So that, a nice, nice race to break your duck Yeah, in. and it, w it was a high enough pressure ride too. Um, obviously he was a high class horse with a huge following all over the world. He was really well fancied. Um, so yeah, it would have been him. So You Think with a narrow advantage. So You Think by a neck from Carlton House. They remain clear, and it's So You Think driven out towards the line, who's two to three lengths clear, and will take his prize money through the £5 million pound barrier. So You Think a world star won the Prince of Wales's. And what about when you go, like, when you're going there to ride a horse like him, like, you're expected to deliver the goods. What does that feel like, walking in? Uh, I feel that's the, that's the best feeling of in the world. That's why any any jockey, like I say, gets up and and goes to all them meet, weeks at, meetings every week, day in, day out, evening meetings. You, you have to you wanna you wanna be in the highest pressure ride in the in the biggest race. The following year you had a really good year, didn't you? Yeah that was a that was a great week. Um Declaration of War was a big one. Um uh, he was a very good horse and he was well fancied and obviously the first race of the week um, uh, it's always nice to start start yeah. the week well, and to have a, get a winner at, on the board. The first race was always a big one. Declaration of War coming very strongly in the closing stages. Declaration of War has taken it up and wins the green out. You actually ride out in the morning, and then fly over, and then do it all every single day, back and forward. Yeah, well, it's, you know, sometimes I do that. Sometimes, I have, and last year now, I did stay over a few times because it helped with my weight and things like that. But, um, you know, it's, it, look, there's horses at home that have to be ridden out, they have to be worked, and, and uh, if we have to be there, we have to be there. What's the process after a big win like that? What's the playing journey like back home? It must be quite satisfying to know you've delivered the goods. Yeah, no, it, it is, absolutely. Um, but at the same time, I mean, that's Tuesday out of the way and, yeah. and we have to get the homework done and everything ready for tomorrow because, I mean, you could 
very easily and you usually end up going home with your tail between your legs the next day. And uh, as you know, making this game, uh, people's memories are very short and, and um, um, if, if, you, if you, you can be the hero on the Tuesday and you can be the villain on the, on the Wednesday. Inside the final 150 yards, near side to hit the centre, Monte Ridge and Gale Falls 10, who's fighting back and has got back up to win the jersey. And what about your, your mum and dad? How are they on the build-up to Royal Ascot Week? Are they quite tense around here? It's always a little bit tense when, it, when there's big racing involved and um, more so big high-profile horses involved. Um, but look, they're used to it at this stage, so you know, we understand it's horse racing, you're going to be, there's going to be disappointments and um, you know, it, it, that's what makes the, the victories all the more worthwhile. What was your best ride at Royal Ascot? Oh God, um, I, 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 if I, I probably when I uh, won the Gold Cup on Leading Light, uh, he wasn't an easy ride, um, and and he just won. It was a rough race, and um, um, I, I, I used to enjoy riding the horse, but he was a challenge, and and um, um, he was a he was a really really good horse. They come to the last furlong. Estimate Leading Light, Brown Panther with them. Miss United is next. Four in with a chance. They drive towards the line. Leading Light down the centre is in front. Estimate is trying to fight back, and it was a race towards the line. Leading Light though is one. And what about one that you'd rather not watch again? Uh, or one that you'd rather have another go at? Oh God, uh, how long do we have? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I suppose um, um, I, I probably made loads of mistakes there, but I always almost immediately try to forget about them um, and, and learn from them. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of them there. What's it like when you get beat on one, the plane journey home? Quiet? I always tried to be good at moving on. Just yeah. It's, it's the way you've got to be, just though. Come in, apologise and it won't happen again. You do your best and you ride to the best of your ability, you have your homework done and ride the horse as you see fit and then and then next, you know, win, lose or draw. What would it mean to you to get a to bag that elusive Royal Ascot win? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be massive. Um, it's one it's you know Royal Ascot's probably it's you know it's it's definitely probably my favourite meeting um, in the whole calendar. Um, it's the whole occasion. I love it the you know the the fast ground, fast horses, you know, usually great weather. It's, it's real proper flat racing and it'd be fantastic to get a winner there. Probably Latrobe is going to go there with a good chance. Um, Buckhurst is a three year old and go there probably with a good chance. He still has an option of an Irish Derby, so we'll speak with Lloyd and Nick and, and, and we'll make that decision late. Uh, I have a couple of two year olds, probably one called Air Force Jet is a horse that will go to one of the two year old races with a chance and then they have bits and pieces in handicap, so um, you need to fire plenty of bullets and... Uh, um, and uh, hopefully yeah, one of them missed Hopefully it. one of them missed the target, yeah, exactly. What would it mean to you to have a Royal Ascot winner? Yeah, it'd be huge. Um, um, I haven't had a huge amount of runners there. I've had a couple of horses run okay, and I mean, it'd be huge to have a Royal Ascot winner. Um, please God, we will eventually, and it'd be really nice to do it this year. We have some, some live chances, but um, it won't be easy.